welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm going to show you how i make my creamy philadelphia cheese at home so if you love creamy cheese keep watching this video i'll put a pan on fire and come in with about one liter of full cream milk doing this on the lowest of flames I'll heat it up but make sure it doesn't boil. We'll basically heat it up to about 80 degrees Celsius. When I reach that temperature, I'll just put up the fire. Next, I'll pour in about 70 ml of lemon juice. Give it a gentle mix. Cover it up and let it rest for about three minutes. After three minutes, and with the help of my strainer, I will go ahead and get the curd out of the water. It's my spatula to squeeze out, you know, any excess water. get a clean cheesecloth then I will transfer the curd onto it I'll go ahead and squeeze out any remaining water but this is what I have here after squeezing out all the water set it aside for later now it's time to prepare the magic solution about a tablespoonful of lemon juice come in with about half a teaspoon of baking soda i'll give it a good mix till the effervescence stops we need in this in the next step my blender and come in with my strained curd I'll drop in about 20 grams of butter a little bit of salt to taste about 4 teaspoons of full cream milk and finally that magic solution which is the lemon juice and the baking soda I'll go ahead and blend them up I'll whip it up till it turns you know very smooth So whipping everything this is what we have here i will go ahead and transfer it into a glass bowl put the glass bowl with the cheese into warm water and i'll give it a gentle stir do this for about three minutes it will help it last longer now I'll get a bowl, this bowl has been greased with some butter, this will help prevent it from, you know, sticking. I'll go ahead and transfer the warm cheese into it. Afterwards, I'll cover the surface with a plastic rub. Cover this up and put it in the fridge for about 24 hours it's been after about 24 hours and our philadelphia cheese is ready this is so creamy and delicious it's time for tasting this goes great with some dry bread Will be used as a sandwich spread. You definitely need to give this a try. So authentic, homemade, and no unnecessary chemicals. 
I hope you did enjoy those and I hope I did help you. If you do give this a try, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.